Good day, everybody. Minimum wage, one of the most contentious subjects that we've seen today. Why is it contentious? Well, it has to do with money. Anytime you deal with money, just about any time you deal with money, there's going to be some contention. People want to pay less and get more. People want to be paid more and do less. Those two opposite ends of the spectrum mean that there's going to be some challenge in who's going to pay what and what are they going to get for what they get paid. More than that, most people think they're worth more than they're paid. It doesn't matter if you're paid $15 million or if you're paid $15. People think they should get paid whatever anybody will pay them. We've seen those basketball players or football players who say it's just not enough to work for $15 million a year. They're worth more. And it's the same for workers at $15. Pay is sometimes relative. You just add zeros to it. But you can see the contentious nature that often arises with pay. Recently, over the years, we've seen that minimum wage has seen that it should go up, that it's too low, that people can't make a living wage. First thing we know is that a minimum wage is not meant to be a living wage. More than 50% of the people that are receiving minimum wage are under 25 years old. There's some statistics out there that show that a great percentage are above the age of 20. But they neglect to say that most, about over 50%, are under 25. So it's very much a youth-oriented wage. They also don't in indicate the reason for a minimum wage. It's not necessarily to provide a standard of living. The minimum wage was created in some ways and sustained so that people without much skills or knowledge can get a job, an entry-level job, can learn skills, like how to do certain tasks, to get to work on time, to get along with their supervisor. And as a result of doing that, they gain more knowledge, more skills, and their salary should go up over time. So that low entry salary allows employers to hire people at a lower wage, train them, and then as they get more valuable, then they could get paid more. There's great value in having a minimum wage. We want to keep it low enough that it incentivizes organizations to continue to hire lower knowledge, lower skilled workers. I still believe people are paid what they're worth. And in this case, if you typically have lower skills and lower knowledge, you are going to get those lower wages. The good news is it doesn't have to be permanent. We have to continue to upgrade our knowledge and skills. We need to make ourselves more valuable, more worthwhile, so people want to, want to pay us more because we're worth more. We never want to get in a situation where we have to legislate how much we get paid. We always want to be in a situation that says, no matter what the minimum is, I know I'm going to be paid more than the minimum because I'm worth more than the minimum. And you're always worth what somebody else will pay you. It doesn't matter your skills. It doesn't matter your knowledge. It matters what somebody else will pay you. So if you have that skill and that knowledge that will make somebody pay you more, then you're worth more. Again, you're always worth what somebody else will pay you. Is it worth somebody to get paid a million dollars a year? Of course it is, if they're getting paid a million a year. If they're not, they're probably not worth it. We've seen a number of people that we work with that say, I should be paid more. That person's paid more than me, I'm getting paid less than them. As long as it's not because of gender or some other case, as long as it's because of pure work-related issues, people are always going to be paid, as they should, according to their work. If you're being paid less than somebody else, it's often because you may be worth less than somebody else. If you're worth more than what you're getting paid at work, you should very easily get paid more by somebody else. All you have to do is find that job. We often find, though, that people who think they should be paid more can't find a job that will pay them more. In essence, they're really not worth more. So, you need to be paid what you're worth. What you're worth is what somebody else will pay you. If you're not being paid for what you're worth, then you need to upgrade your knowledge and skills. You need to make yourself more valuable so people will pay you what you think that you should be paid. And when you become valuable, when you become sought after, people will continue to pay more for what you have. Because what you have is something that nobody else has. Thanks, everybody. Enjoy the day.